several emerging from the bowels of the earth. Today's adventure will be another cave exploration. This one could have ice in it, and it is mid-August. So we are here. You are here. <laughs> we are at Herd Pond Road and the Ice Caves Trail. And we're gonna follow the Ice Caves Trail down to the lookout, the ice caves, and we can even go to the first Absconic Lake. Before we start our journey, we stopped here. Hope the camcorder picks it up. It's very, very pretty in here. All right, there are all three destinations. We may save the ice caves for last. All right, so all three things that we're going to see today are located in the Depsconic Lakes Wilderness Area, which is 46,271 acres of ecological reserve. Now, what's an ecological reserve? Well, it's an area that's been set aside for conservation and the study of Maine's ecosystem. And the trail we're following is blazed in blue. Wow, look at all these granite boulders left over from the last ice age. And every single one of them Looks like it's wearing a toupee. Yeah, it's got a hairy top. <laughs> very, very wild. Some more glacial evidence of the past ice age. The trail has a lot of level, some up, some down. All right, scenic outlook is to the right. The lake and the caves are to the left. So we're gonna go to the right, take out the scenic outlook, go down, hit the lake, and we will save the caves for last. So we're up on the scenic outlook. I'd have to guess here. I'm saying that that's Baxter Peak. Coming down this little thing right here, this bump. That's Owl Mountain. We could have climbed that. Yeah, it would have been instead easier. Of, instead of Baxter Peak. <laughs> would have been an easier day. Not sure what's next to it. We have a beautiful view of the first Debsconic Lake. Honey, do you know why it's called the Debsconic Lake Wilderness Area? Actually, no, I don't this time. Because Debsconic means carrying place. Really? Do you know why they call it carrying place? Uh, again, no. <laughs> <laughs> because the native people used to carry their canoes around the rapids and the waterfalls. Did you get this from your Indian heritage? No, the internet. <laughs> And from the scenic outlook, <laughs> that's a cliff. <laughs> Going on. Right, so after the outlook, we are working our way down to the cave and the lake. The caves are to the right. We're going to the lake first. So we headed down this way. This trail going down to the lake is oh, going down to the lake. It's probably going to need the cave just to cool off and to climb back up this. Oh, you think I'm kidding? <laughs> Here you go. First step, Sconic Lake. Don't you think there's like up in Pittsburgh? You think there's three of us? As a matter of fact, there is four Deb Sconic Lakes, just like up in Pittsburgh with the Connecticut Lakes. Lonely Karen out there. We are sitting in the whale. Well, the mouth. I don't know if you can hear or not, but it is pouring. Uh, just to make sure this rock didn't fall, <laughs> I propped the stick up against it, so <laughs> man, Cheryl are gonna be safe. <laughs> now to the main event, the caves. And down that way, who would have thought in the middle of the wilderness you'd come across bars <laughs> and rungs? Oh yeah, I remember I could dad and climbed the other day. <laughs> Welcome to Ice Caves. Your ladder's going down. There they are. Check that out, huh? Actually, let's go check that out. Chuck's starting his way down. Going caving. Going caving. Be careful, baby. Mm, it's a tight squeeze right through here. These are very, very wet, so be careful. Okay. Oh. And they're not lined up either. <laughs> I was working her way down. A lot of condensation was on the rungs. And now you gotta work your way around to your left on the rocks. Just be careful, they're wet. Okay. Hi, shower down. And that's why they call it ice caves. Because, well, it's mid-August. 
a check out off to the left hand side of me. See that? That's dripping from the ceiling. <laughs> Everything is soaking wet around here. That goes to outside, but heck, we've been outside. <laughs> Let's go down, shall we? There's some more of that falling in the uh look at that. It's staying still for God's sakes. Those can you see this? No, don't shine a light over here. Look at this, the cave is full of um dew. Moisture, yeah. Wow. That's cool. Is that wild or what? <laughs> it looks like it's snowing. <laughs> I know. Not just not the ice. Ice caves, it's the snow caves. Cheryl and I didn't even see this till we were editing the video. What does it look like to you? Put your answers in the comments down below. We'd be curious to know what other people see. All right, check that out. That's all ice, right? Well, it's glistening a little. There's gotta be some ice pellets in it. Ice chunks. Uh, oh, it looks like we might be able to go in there a little bit. And you got all these rocks that sort of just fell in. In case you wonder what's holding the whole thing together. Ah, that one stick right there. You knock that out, the whole thing comes tumbling down. <laughs> Let's hope not. There's the rungs going back out. This place is pretty cool. The only thing about doing the caves like we do, this looks like some, is when we look up and see that there's a loose rock, it's just <laughs> kind of being held in place by little, little rocks. That, well, let's just face it, if a little shake of the earth, and uh, this would be our last broadcast. <laughs> or it wouldn't be broadcast. Uh, squeeze up in there, but I don't know if you can see right here. That's all ice. So, I mean, I'm not wearing my Sunday best, but I'm not wearing my worst either. There's no sense going in there, that's as far as that goes. More ice, ice, rock, lovely wife show. Yeah, see, if you catch that just right, that's not just moisture. Well, when you shine more light on it, it looks terrible. It looks good in my head. Looks sparkly here. Now, that area looks like it just needs to be explored. You gonna follow me in, babe? Absolutely. All right, let's go. All right, that goes a little bit further back. I'm not sure we wanna go over there, but let's see how much I can do. That's about as far as we can go. This is how far we've come. That's where we went. And my lovely wife. Hey, babe. <laughs> and then the entrance is out over there. Definitely different. There's, no, no, there's a spot over here too. Oh no, no way. <laughs> now if you can see down there, that's ice. And that's a drop, we didn't bring rope. It goes up over there too. Water on the ceiling. Oh yeah, I done so. <laughs> <laughs> you probably had your back up against it. I did, getting over here. <sighs> Alright, this was kind of cool. Alright, so just in case you're wondering how this cave formed, well, back during the last ice age, as the glacier was taking its time moving along, it was picking up boulders and dropping boulders off and well, kind of just pushing them all together. And not like a jigsaw puzzle, they just kind of piled on top of one another and created a lot of crevices and, well, Caves. <laughs> <laughs> so in this cave itself, historians actually believe that the native people would store their meat and fish in here while they were out on their hunts. So because sometimes it has ice year round. I mean, it's August and look at how much ice is here. It's cold in here. <laughs> All right, so hey, once again, we brought you to a cave. <laughs> this is a cool cave, literally a cool cave, ice cave. So, until our next adventure. The end.